Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Isabel if you are new here and in today's video I am going to show you how to get these tight Dutch braids. I wear my hair like this all the time and I've had quite a few um, requests to do my hair. I'm sure there's a ton of videos on how to do your hair like this on YouTube but um, hopefully I explain to you how to do it somewhat uh, easily. <laughs> I hope it makes sense. Um, I love doing my hair like this. I do it all the time. Alright, enough of me talking. Let's jump right into the video and I'll show you how to Dutch braid your hair. Alright, so we are going to start out with not having this crooked. Hold on. Get it together. Okay. So we are going to start out with just a couple things that you need. Um, I prefer to have these teeny little plastic elastic bands so that when you tie the ends that you can't really see them that well. Uh, whatever these are called, with a little pick at the end. Unless you have acrylic nails, you can use that to do your part. And then right now my hair is like super, it's not like super, super dirty, but it's pretty dirty. Um, and the ends are just kind of like how they're doing what they want down there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of my Bio Silk Serum um, just like a blob and I'm just gonna put it through the ends of my hair to just kind of slick and just put whatever the rest lighting isn't like the best how's this so um, make sure your hair is brushed out obviously I already brushed it out but um, depending on where you want to have your part oh my god I don't like it. <laughs> I prefer it to be right down the middle. I have like a weird hairline, um, so I just follow from the middle of my nose up, um, and that's how I prefer like um, a straight middle part. So using this, just making a perfect, that's not perfect. Okay, I had to get my mirror over here, but I hope you can still see. There we go. So just do the best that you can to make a straight line and then go straight down the back and then part it and grab one section of hair and then you can just do a hair elastic or whatever. I just have a clip right here. So definitely pin back. So definitely pin back one, whatever side you're not working on, um, so that nothing gets tangled up with each other. So before we start anything, um, just keep in mind you want to take really small pieces. At least for how I like my braids to look. I like to try to take really small pieces instead of taking big chunks because the braid will look a lot tighter and it will be that smaller to bigger braid look. So um, I also do a Dutch braid so I'm going to do an inside out braid instead of going over, instead of pulling the pieces over, you, pu you put them under. So I'm going to try to explain this to the best of my ability, but I just start out and I just take my finger and do like a little triangle in the front like that. Break it into three pieces. I just put my fingers just like that and make one, two, three pieces. Okay, so with the piece farthest to the back, I'm going to put it under the piece in the middle. So we're looking like that, and then this piece all the way in the front, I'm going to put under the piece that I just brought forward, and then we're going to be looking like this, and then I'm going to take the piece in the back again, go under the piece in the middle, the piece in the very front, go under the piece in the middle, and then you're going to start collecting hair. So make sure you do a double braid, like make sure you do two passes over to make that really tight and then we're going to start adding really small pieces of hair. So I'm going to grab a little section from the front, a little section from the back and we're just going to continue doing that. So put it under the middle piece, 
and put the front piece under the middle piece again and really my biggest tip for you is just to take small pieces and take your time and pull everything really tight so just make sure you're keeping all fingers separate just grabbed a piece of hair put it in with that back piece under the middle piece and the same with the front piece side is done as easy as that it's funny for me because whenever I do my hair like this people will be like did you do that yourself and I'm like yeah it's like the easiest thing I do it all the time and it's like so therapeutic for me I don't know if that's like so weird but like when I'm in bed watching a show like I just braid my hair not like this but I'll just like braid pieces of my hair I just find it so therapeutic okay so now all we're gonna do is do the exact same thing to the other side of your head So if you can see, I have a couple crazy pieces um, sticking out like that. So all you have to do is just kind of like play with it and just tuck it back under the best that you can. Um, if they keep sticking out, you can take a bobby pin and just like push it around and push it into the braid. All right, everyone. So here is the final product. I hope you learned something new here today. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment and I'll absolutely answer it for you. If there's any other hair looks that you want to see, let me know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.